The monetary policy actions taken to date are helping to moderate demand in both product and labor markets and to alleviate some of the imbalances that have contributed to price pressures. Real output growth has slowed from a very robust pace in 2021. Supply is also adjusting with disruptions in supply chains having generally improved over time. And in the labor market, some pro progress is being made in bringing demand and supply into better balance. But I would characterize the labor market as still strong. Job growth has slowed and job openings are down, but the unemployment rate is still low at 3.8%. And the vacancy to unemployment rate is still above its level during the strong labor market conditions in 2019. Now, labor supply conditions are helping to rebalance the labor market. The labor market participation rate of workers between the ages of 25 and 54 is above what it was before the pandemic. Progress continues to be made on inflation with total PCE inflation down significantly from its peak. And underlying measures of inflation have also improved, but less so. Now, despite the high inflation rates, medium and longer term inflation expectations remain reasonably well anchored and a range consistent with the Fed's goal of 2% inflation. Now, although there has been some progress, inflation remains too high and the FOMC is committed to moving inflation down to 2%. The monetary policy questions are whether the current level of the Fed funds rate is sufficiently restrictive and how long policy will need to remain restrictive to keep inflation moving down in a sustainable and timely way to our goal of 2%. So future policy decisions are gonna be about managing the risk and the intertemporal costs of over-tightening versus under-tightening monetary policy. And that assessment is gonna require very close monitoring of economic banking and financial market developments and using all of that economic reconnaissance to determine whether the economy is evolving in line with the outlook or not. So that outlook needs to be informed not only by incoming data, but also by our models and our understanding of inflation dynamics, which has been the topic of the conference. 